I wanted to talk about why I believe in entities that are outside of a physical form. I know last week I had like an orb thing floating around me or it could have been lint or something. I don't know what it was. But I do believe that there is some type of supernatural or spirit-like forms out there that do live. And I wanted to talk and share about certain events of why I believe in um, paranormal activity. And mainly because, well, first of all, as a child growing up, I had a sleep paralysis. So I constantly always had the feeling of someone choking me in my sleep. And I like were, felt like I was awake and I couldn't move. And I could feel like something breathing on me, like very heavily. And that always, um, that cemented in my mind that this stuff was real. Also, another experience I had was in Vegas. I woke up um, in my apartment and there was these two eyes glowing at me and I walked towards it and then they disappeared and that always stuck in my head. Also, I have a lot of family that believe in that stuff. Um, I know it's not always that. There's always pipes and like we said with the orbs, it could have just been some dust got up and flew by. But that was a weird dust. I mean, it flew like this. Um, also, another thing, a lady about two weeks ago was telling me that she always has, has like a spirit that sits next to her on, be on, the, on the bed and she could feel the bed springs go down. And she said it felt like the spirit or the entity would lift her up and drop her down. Two days later, it felt like someone was on my bed sitting and then I, I kicked and it felt like I kicked off like a small animal. It could have been an animal. We do have animals here, but I didn't let any animals in my room that day. And um, another thing, oh, I wanted to share was uh, a family picture where the lights manipulated. I'm going to show that at the end of this video. And I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about The Conjuring too, but I really, um, I'll talk about that later. Uh, let's see. Oh, and when I was in, ooh, didn't get um, I want to say middle school, no, high school, uh, there was a, a light in my room and I, I always saw this light in my room in the corner. I just figured it was from the windows, but this night I closed all my windows, had curtains posted, uh, like po paper posted over my windows, everything so no light gets in and there's still light. So I woke up and it looked like this head turned its face at me. I just went under and I ran under my covers. It was very strange. My sister said she's had stuff like this happen where the entity changes its voice and uses family members voices, which is, I happened to me one time, it used my aunt's voice. Um, another thing was, I got it written down. Hmm. Oh, where's my house family picture? Oh, that's it, that's it, George. So I wanna talk about The Conjuring 2 also and basically do a quick a quickie review. I just felt like there was a lot of jump scares. It could have been done a little better. Uh, the story could have been a little more better than, you know, Demon and Exorcism. But um, the acting was excellent, and it, it wasn't a bad movie, but to get the real fear out of it, you do have to see it at the cinema because the cinema has all the effects. You gotta say action. Action. Okay. Remember to subscribe. Remember to follow me on Twitter. If you have Facebook, you know, just hit me up. If you got a question, DM me. All right, guys. If you want to share this, share this. Peace.